Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. If you're making a home automation project, then you'll need a microcontroller, a Bluetooth module to communicate with your smartphone, as well as an ESP module if you're making it an IoT project. And this all will require a lot of connections and all this will cost you around 7800 rupees. So here is the solution. You can use ESP32 board which cost you around 400 to 500 rupees and it has built in Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth. And it has lots of pin to control your devices. So in this video, I will show you how to make a home automation project which can be controlled over the internet from anywhere around the world through Blink application. As well as if you are not connected to internet, then you can also control it via Bluetooth application as well as the manual switches. Now you can see the Wi-Fi is disconnected and we'll control this whole system with our Bluetooth application. So we'll open the application, we'll pair the ESP Bluetooth device, we'll connect it and now we can control it via Bluetooth application as well as manual switches. If you use off-the-shelf components like 8-channel relay module, ESP32 board, a switchboard, then you can follow this circuit diagram and make your wiring connections. To avoid all these wiring connections, make our project more compact and durable and look good, I have designed my own PCB for this project. So here is the schematic of our PCB design, then I have converted it into a PCB file and arranged all the components on the board. Then I have downloaded the Gerber file of our PCBs to order our PCB. So to order our PCBs, I'm visiting jlcpcb.com who is the sponsor of this project and who offers very good quality of PCBs at very low prices. So we'll select code now and add our Gerber file on this website. After adding it, we'll select the quantity and color and place our orders. I've received my PCBs in 7 to 8 days. As you can see the packing was very good and the quality of the PCB is very good. So now we'll start collecting the components for this project. And after this we'll assemble all the components on our PCB board and start the soldering process. Now download the Blink application and open it. Create a new project. Give the project a name. I am giving ESP32 Home Automation. After this, select your device that is ESP32 Development Board. Select Wi-Fi and click on Create. After creating, click on Add button and we'll add 8 buttons. After adding buttons, click on button 1, give it a name that is Relay1 
you can name it of your choice then select virtual v1 for that button and click to switch similarly you have to configure for all the buttons this will be the relay 2 and we'll select virtual 2 pin for this and click on switch similarly we will do it for all the 10 buttons i have also made my application on mit app inventor to control all our devices through bluetooth i will leave the ai file for this project so you can directly import it on your mit app inventor these are the blocks coding for this project you can make changes according to you want now we'll download this application in our computer and install it in our smartphone Now connect your ESP board with your computer. So this is the code of our today's project. So first go to tools, go to boards and go to boards manager. Over here type ESP32 and install 1.0.3 version of this ESP32 board. Make sure you select the proper version. Now over here We'll enter the Blink authentication token which was sent to us by the Blink on our email ID. So we'll copy it from our email ID and paste it over here. After this, we'll enter the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Now we'll select the board. That is do it ESP32 development kit. And now we'll select the port and we'll upload the code. When code starts uploading, press the boot button so it will flash the code in it. Now connect your ESP32 board on your PCB. I'm using this 2 pin connector for 220V AC to 5V DC high link converter. So we can directly power this board with our 220V AC power supply. You can use the switches if you want and you can connect all the switches on these header pins. I am using this PCB board with the push buttons so I will connect it over here. Now this is a bulb holder so we will cut one of its wire and connect it to our relay module. Similarly, I have connected 4 more bulbs and our system is ready. So as you can see the Wi-Fi will connect and the blue light will turn on. So now let's test our complete system. So first we will test it with blink application. So as you can see the lights are turning on so it's working fine. Now we'll also test the manual switches and see do we get the feedback on Blink application or not. So yes, we are getting the feedback of on and off state of the relays on the Blink application as well. Now if you don't have your internet connectivity, you can also control these devices through Bluetooth application. So first we'll connect to our Bluetooth. We'll open the application and select on connect bluetooth. We'll select the device ESP32 and now we can control it with this application. As well as we can also control it with the manual switches. So friends I hope you like this project then do hit that like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.